We started Hyphen to help restaurants go after the capacity that they have challenges fulfilling in their digital business. As there have been more orders through apps and through services like DoorDash and Uber Eats, there has been a more challenging time on the restaurant side for them to provide a consistent and high quality fulfillment of those orders. When there are these rush periods, when it's difficult to staff at the store, provide them some more capacity. We designed our system so that it is a hybrid solution where you can have operators working in tandem with the automation so that when you have menu items, whether it's burritos, wraps, sandwiches, you can make those on top still by hand and use the make line as you traditionally would. When you're working with food, it's really challenging because you have material properties that may change throughout the day depending on how it was prepped and the food itself, whether it's a leafy green, that like arugula that can tangle up or a sauce or a more granular type of material that's more free flowing. We have to pretty constantly physically experiment with these different materials and create feeders that can handle them and portion out the product consistently. Everything we are working on here is brand new. It doesn't exist in the real world at all. So everything we are making is custom and we need to make it as fast as possible in order to be the first to market with what we're trying to build. Bringing the printers in house and why we have so many speed and time cost us a lot as a startup. We're able to cut down our cycle times of iteration on hoppers from two weeks to three days. From a cost perspective, we get ROI on a machine like the 3L within three to four weeks, which is pretty significant for our capacity we're looking for. Formlabs printers are an essential part of our workflow. We've tested over 500 different ingredients, experimentally find what is the right design that works with this category of ingredient or food. A large format 3D printing has been critical. We go through many hopper iterations a week or as many as we can. Preferably overnight, we would have a new hopper every day. And so by having the ability to print the entire hopper, we can make changes as we see fit to accomplish what we need to. So the tolerancing on the machines is really helpful because it's better than what we need in most cases. And so we don't really have to think about it. For making really weird shapes, it's really helpful. We make augers that have these crazy profiles. The limits our imagination when we have these available to us. I always do a comparison when I'm looking for maybe a semi-permanent part. Can we 3D print it here or can we outsource it? Nine times out of 10, we end up 3D printing it in-house because outsourcing it is either three times as long or the cost is just so insanely high relative to doing it here for free. In some cases, we may use our fused parts as a production option, specifically around little brackets, things you're not going to see every day, even by the customer. And it's really helpful because then if we have some sort of issue with an electronic that needs to be moved around, we can go ahead and just make a new bracket, get it in there, and we can have that done way faster than if we send it out. We make hundreds of parts per week at times, so that quickly gets us ROI on having printers in-house and preparing parts for tests. For production, we have so many components and because our machine is purpose built and not integrating off the shelf solutions, we have a lot of plastic parts, stampings, metal parts, which would cost a lot to tool out. And there will be dozens of tools we'll make to manufacture a machine. And the fewer number of tools we can get made gives us more flexibility and faster time to market. If we don't need to tool up to make a part and we can print it instead, and there's a handful of those parts in the machine, it's way more economical and a lot faster for us. So the speed is what we care about the most, is how can we bring that time to market closer and closer to where we are now. It's very clear there's a huge demand. Having a customer or set of customers ready to take delivery, it's like, hey, we need this product. All of our customers have some unique requirements to iterate on design. Without 3D printing, we would never be there. 